the biggest bank of germany and perhaps the europe's biggest bank at that time deutsche bank deutsche bank had the policy that the ceo had to be german and german speaking for the first time in life they changed their rule to accommodate a person who was so brilliant and brought maximum profit to the german bank so they changed the rule because he was not german and he didn't knew german so they changed the rule to make him the chairman can you believe that they made they changed the rule to make him the chief do you know the name of that guy his name is anshu jain this is the guy anshu jain they wanted to make him chief and they changed the rule this brilliant guy at that time what the was the head of deutsche bank but then unfortunately the libor scam came out and he had to along with his coach if he had to resign from the deutsche bank because of the libor scam so it was just not the penalties but it was also the you know resignation of big players are you getting my point yes. similarly the head of barclays the us head and the global head even they had to resign uh, when the libor scam came out so these are elite people having careers of 30 40 years into the banking sector everyone knew them and they all had to resign because of the libor scam getting it so this is what i remember i recollect and you know at that time when anshu jain was made the chief of uh, you know of 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 the, the biggest bank of europe deutsche bank and it was also poised to become the biggest global bank because of its investment banking profits thanks to anshu jain who was handling the investment banking arm and uh, unfortunately in the libor scam he had to resign but uh, so I, i used to read a lot about him that you know one of the indians have become the head of deutsche bank it's such a big news after vikram pandit who was the head of city bank for a while so in this way you know there was a big thing so i started reading about him i started reading that how he's a fan of indian cricketer rahul dravid and so on and started reading a background about him because he's also jain so but when he was supposed to resign i really feel bad that you know you know there was a scam and he had to resign unfortunately because he had to take the responsibility but then he moved to another favorite company of mine which is one of the biggest bond traders in us i would just like to tell you all the name of that company the name of that company where he moved the name of that company it's one of the biggest bond trading company its name is cantor fisra okay that's the name of company where anshu jain has now moved to it's one of the biggest bond trading firms in the world why do i know this company and actually i know this company when i was in my school when i knew nothing about finance you know why because what happened on september 11 in us what happened 9/11 attack 9/11 attack right and the plane crashed in the south in the north tower of wtc right yes so one of that plane which crashed those six seven floors or on that on that north or south tower i forgot those were the offices of cantor fisra they lost all their employees in one go unfortunately all their employees who were sitting there they lost everyone because the plane hit their floor so while i was researching about 911 and the attacks and everything i came across this company how this company lost almost all their employees which were in the office on that day can you believe that that company was about to collapse it was almost on the verge of bankruptcy and after that the uh, howard lutnik is the founder of that company fortunately he was saved and you know why he was saved because that was the first uh, day of her uh, of his daughter's kindergarten so he had to go to the school so he re- reached the office late otherwise when the attack happened the markets were already started so he lost his brother and almost the entire company on that day after that he recovered and again brought back cantor fisra as one of the top bond companies in the last 15 20 years 
so that was an interesting case study which i was studying and then at that time i knew cantor fizra and when anshu jain joined that company i realized that wow this company has now again become a very giant a very a big company thanks to the uh, you know the will power of howard lutnik who reorganized and you know you know brought back the company from ashes okay i think it almost lost almost every of it uh, around 600 employees i think uh, they lost in the wdc attack it's it's a disastrous thing even to think about isn't it yeah if they would not have imagined that you know their entire office unfortunately would be hit by the plane and everyone would die on that day and then from that day again to start up the company and he actually howard lutning actually ensured that he raised enough funds to pay as a gratitude amount or uh, as an insurance amount to all the employees so all the employees were paid back and uh, their families were paid back those who died their families were paid back and then he uh, you know brought back the company that is cantor fizra 